Hey guys, Drinking Ale here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how I sharpen my lawnmower blades on my zero turn mower. So it's nice and hot out here. Y'all get you a cold drink and follow along with me. Let's get this thing done. This is a uh, 2012 Gravely zero turn. It's got a little over 2,000 hours on it. So it's been a good one, but as long as you keep the oil changed and the blades sharpened and spark plugs changed, things like that, it, it'll take care of you. So we're going to get started on this thing. Hey guys, for today's project, we're gonna need a few tools. So here they are. We gotta have an air compressor, an air compressor hose. We need a grinding wheel. We gotta have some hearing protection, a half inch impact wrench, a couple wood scotches, a set of gloves, a drop cord, and then this is a homemade two by six pressure cherry jack stand. So. It's nothing fancy, it's just used to uh, help jack up the front of the mower. Or you can use jack stands or, you know, whatever you want. So, that's all we got to have. Let's get it done. Okay, guys, the first thing we've done is we've put the uh, wood scotches on the back tires to keep it from rolling. Next, we got the yellow emergency brake on. We've, uh, Jack this thing up and used our jack stand right here. So everything's secure. These things are not that bad actually. Uh, the most of the weights in the back part where the engine is everything's at. So if you can use gravity to your advantage, uh, get it on a hill, pick it up a little bit, it'll tilt back with you. It's not it's not terrible. And then you can put the jack stand underneath the front. But you know, if you want to jack it up with the jack or whatever you want to do, that's fine too. Okay, all I've done now is plug up the air compressor and hook up the uh, air hose with the impact wrench. Okay, guys, let's take off the uh, blades. There's one. There's two. Three. Not too bad. Okay, guys, let's sharpen some blades. We got a coarse wheel right here and then a more fine wheel right here. So let's get started. The other side too because I like a real razor sharp blade. Get the burrs off there too. But when you sharpen blades they say you're only supposed to do it on this side but I don't follow the rules. Anyway, that's how I do it. Alright guys, we got all the blades sharpened up. Let's take a look at it. Try to make cutting grass a lot easier for a while. All right, that's it. Okay, guys, the last step I like to do is I like to balance the blades. And the way I do this, 
is I take a nail, hammer it in a piece of wood, and what you do is you set your uh, blade right in the middle right here and let go. If the blade is level, that means they're balanced correctly. Let's say it was tilted that way, that means it's got more weight on this end. You need to take it through the grinder a couple more passes to make it even. I went ahead and pre-level, I mean, uh, pre-balanced all these blades where I wouldn't bore you with that. It's blade number one. Blade number two, you can see slightly on this end right here, it's slightly downhill, but it's close enough. But anyway, it could handle one more pass through the grinder on that side there, but it's close enough. And then blade number three. All right, guys, that's it. That's got it. Here's a little closer look at the blade on the nail head. So that is a perfectly balanced blade, and that's what we want. Okay guys, it's time to put the blades back on. Play that one right there. The middle one. And the end one. So what I like to do first is just kind of get them all started. When you tighten these blades up, you want them all in the same direction. So let's tighten this first one up. All right, I'll have that position at like 12 o'clock. And then the next one, the same thing. Want them all the same. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Leave me a comment down below. We'll see you guys on the next video.